Hi everybody, welcome back to Don't Starve! I haven't played this game in a long time, and I've had a hankering to play it recently. Uh, there's an expansion for this game coming out, like, in the summer, I think? Or at least in a couple of months, so I thought, I'm definitely gonna play that. I might as well jump back into it and brush up on all my, uh, gained skills from the last playthrough. Uh, when we started playing this, we sort of said that we were gonna go through all of the characters. Uh, I managed to do Wilson, and, uh, I managed to survive for fucking ever with Wilson, uh, not Wilson, uh, Willow. I don't know if you remember that. Um, we got up to, like, day 180 or something stupid like that. Let's try somebody new. Uh, we're gonna choose a slot. A new game. Hooray! A new game with, um, who do we want to try? We've done Wilson, uh, we've done Willow. Uh, <laughs> we've never tried Wolfgang before. Uh, there's also, um, The Bereaved, Wendy, uh, WX78, The Soulless Automaton. Uh, Empathy Module Not Responding, okay? We could be a robot, apparently. Uh, we could be Wickerbottom, uh, The Librarian. Uh, or we could be Woody, and, uh, whoever this is. It's locked. Alright. Let's try Woody. <laughs> Woody the Lumberjack. I saw Terps play this guy briefly one time and he turned into some sort of bear or something. That's a nice tree, eh? This guy has a, an immediate affinity uh, with myself being a Canadian man. Uh, he has a lovely axe and he also harbors a terrible secret. Okay, uh, let's go for it. We're going to play as Woody the Lumberjack. Great. Uh, oh man, you gotta love starting a new Don't Starve game. This is gonna be fantastic. Do we want to make any changes to the world? No, let's just go for default, that's fine. And let's start. Alright, here we go. Familiar territory. It's old Maxwell with his cigar and his nice suit. Uh, we better find something to eat before it's night time. Of course, we know exactly what to do. Um, hey, shit, look at this. Lucy the Axe. Oh wow! Okay, fantastic! Oh, look at us go! Um, I mean, I don't know if you guys, um, know much about the Augscast or whatever, but, wow, Woody really reminds me of Sparkles. Um, Sparkles, I, I hope you're not too offended by me saying that. I mean, he's a very handsome man, such as, uh, yourself, if you're watching this. Uh, if you're not watching this, um, well, uh, maybe somebody can pass you on the message or whatever. Alright! Let's get to work! Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see how fast he chopped down that tree? This guy is a beast! Holy crap! This is fantastic! Alright, starting a, a new game of Don't Starve. Great times. God, I've missed this game. It's been such a long time. This is definitely one of my favorite games of all time. I've plowed countless hours into playing this game. Uh, I enjoy the survival aspect of it. Uh, and it's quite a nice change of pace, isn't it? I mean, we just finished uh, a little series on Banished, which was a city building series. If you're into city builders and you missed it, uh, it's on my channel. It's in a playlist. It's all complete. Um, you're more than welcome to go check it out. Um, uh, for me, I love city builders, uh, but I also love survival games. And this game is no exception. This game really gets my juices flowing. I like being out here in the wilderness all by myself with this cool axe. I like surviving. I like gathering berries. I like gathering twigs. I like chopping down trees. I like picking... I love everything about it. I like how you have to make a campfire at night to stay warm and survive. And uh, I also love the fact that I haven't found um, much flint yet. And I probably won't be able to make any cool tools. Oh, or indeed a campfire if I keep going at this rate. Look, I'm picking up, I'm doing a big no-no. I mean, after 180 days survived with Willow, I'm actually out here picking flowers, which is a bit of a shame, actually. Looks like there's some bees here. Uh, it looks like we've got a swamp here, too. Oh, it looks like, I, the music goes like all off. I was gonna say sinister, but it actually just turns off when you get close to the swamp, which is very disconcerting. Um, let's hope, let's hope that we can actually survive with Woody. Um, It'll be a bit different this time, I think, though. I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to collect all the pieces and escape the map. Uh, and I think... Oh, hey, look at this. All work and no plays makes, makes me want to chop trees. I think if we can escape the map with Woody, then we can safely say that we survived with Woody and end Woody's saga there. So at least we have some sort of goal this time. I don't want to just survive endlessly for um, as long as I can because I feel like I've already sort of proved that with uh, with Willow. Uh, I mean, surviving up to 180 days, if I was really careful and I kept um, having good luck and just turtling my butt off, um, I would have I would have kept surviving, no problem, I think. I mean, some people, the world record is like 600 days or something crazy like that. 
I mean, I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. You let me know if you'd like me to try to beat that challenge. I, I am up for it. Um, but I think for the sake of this series, or indeed this sort of mini-series, I think if we can get Woody out of this world um, safely, then maybe we can move on to another character. Or, of course, if people are bored of this and want something else, um, we can look at something else. Maybe go back to another city builder or something. It's quite nice, actually. It's quite nice having like these sort of like mini-ish, mid-length series. Banished was quite a nice one. 25 episodes, not too, too much. You know, if you missed it, it's quite easy to get back into. It's not like Skyrim where there was like a hundred episodes and each episode was like half an hour long or whatever. I think Banished you could probably just about do in a few hours. And, uh, and with 25 episodes, not too bad. Nice day for a walk. It is indeed, Woody. Look at this. Uh, a nice walk down a path. Have we found anything cool yet? We found a wormhole thing up there. Uh, and it's almost Woody's bedtime. Shit. Do I have... Okay, I have just enough to make a campfire when the time comes. That's fine. At the closing of day one, we managed to do it. If we can survive to day two, we're off to a rip-roaring start, I'd say. Watch... Uh, just as I say that, watch this. Like some hole in the ground is going to open up and Satan is going to come out and... Just like put me into some sort of headlock, and give me a noogie, and then I don't know, pile drive me into the ocean or something. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. But at the same time, I mean, what a spectacular day to end day one. It's got to be said that would be pretty awesome as well as devastating at the same time. I'm uh, I'm picking up as much grass as I can because grass is always very useful. Uh, once I find some sort of little. Um, well, once I find some rocks, actually, I can make a pickaxe, hopefully get some gold, get a science machine, and get some sort of little base set up. I'll get, like, some grass growing and some berries and all the food and everything I need. Uh, and then from that base, hopefully I can go out on some, like, scouting excursions and try to find some of these pieces. I mean, it'd be nice if I just stumbled across a piece right now, for instance. Like, right now? Or maybe right now? No? Sometimes that works. Uh, in this case, it didn't work, unfortunately, but I'll keep trying. Uh, if, if there's anything that you need to know about me, it's that I'm very persistent, and I can be very persistent. So uh, you'll probably notice me doing that quite a bit uh, coming up. Uh, are there any more trees to be had? No, we have 12 logs though, which is fine for fire, at least for tonight. Uh, looks like there's a whole bunch of rabbit holes here, uh, which is usually a fairly good spot to set up a base. Holy shit, this is one big field. Look, I've found more ocean on this side. Okay, I'm just going to slowly sort of explore my way up here while I still have uh, the remnants of day one left. Uh, and then as soon as uh, it starts to get really dark, I'll set up a campfire uh, and, uh, and cry myself to sleep. Uh, possibly not close to... Jesus. Fucking... Look at this guy. Look at this guy pacing around out here. Um, I'll take down some of those as well, eventually. Uh, just not now, because I'm too scared. I'm always too scared of spider this. But, you, I mean, if they're around your base and stuff, you need to keep on top of them, because they turn into those big queens and stuff. And, uh, and that's always bad. Alright, the, the time has come now to uh, make a fire. Look, just as it goes into the pitch black of night, uh, what can we eat? Uh, we, well, we can probably eat some of these carrots. Uh, should we just eat a carrot? F fine, why not? We'll keep on top of our health as much as we can. We'll eat these berries too. And, uh, how's our sanity doing? 187. Should we eat... Oh, that doesn't even... I think picking it is what gives you the sanity back. It's all flooding back to me now. Okay, great. Alright, I'll just wait this out. I mean, it'd be nice to find Chester too, so that we had somebody to talk to. Look at how... Jeez, look at how sinister Woody... <laughs> I love his little face. It's hilarious. Look at this. Oh, he's picking his ear too. I mean, maybe that could be used as, like, some sauce on your uh, berries or your carrots. Maybe just to give it, like, a bit of extra tang. No? Don't want to do that? Okay, that's fine, too. I mean, I might as well just pick up the grass that's, like, around here. And uh, I wonder if, like, that sinister creature, the knight, that comes out in, in the pitch black. I wonder if, like, this axe can do something uh, against it. Like, maybe sing it a some sort of song or... Is that the axe talking with the red? Must be. Jesus. Alright, uh, I'll add another log for some fuel. And uh, I can hear you out there, you son of a bitch. Uh, come at me. I've got Lucy here. Lucy is ready to um, to own you if you dare step in the vicinity of my campfire. Um, you probably didn't see, but I've set up some magical wards around. <laughs> no, I, ha I haven't done that. I fucking wish you could do that. Magical wards would be such an awesome thing to add to this game. Sadly, I don't think... I mean, whilst all these people have, like, weird um, sort of, like, 
uh, imaginary best friends and axes that can talk and uh, magical whistles and stuff. I don't think they actually are able to tap into the um, into the true source, the one the one power. Uh, so magical wards may not be uh, on the agenda for uh, campfires in this game. Who knows? All right, uh, we'll just sort of skirt around this beefalo, and uh, we're gonna try to find uh, some rocks. And uh, we'll make a pickaxe, too. I mean, look at all this poop I'm picking up, though. Holy shit, it's like a bonanza out here. I have to remember this field, uh, because we're going to need poop later for some farms and stuff so that we can grow some food and uh, have a better chance at getting off of this wretched island. Um, I don't know if I need... I mean, <laughs> this axe loses no durability, which is fantastic. I, I fucking... I can't believe it. That, that seems overpowered to me. I mean, the amount of axes that you end up going through in this game is insane. Look at this. We're really fucking doing it this time. We've crossed the Swamp of Horrors. It wasn't actually that big of a swamp as it turned out. And we're in some sort of forest here where we can just merrily sort of s slam down the trees and pick up some pine cones. And then when we finally do find Chester, we're going to have a nice healthy supply of pine cones for him to enjoy himself with. Chester, of course, loves pine cones. Um, Oh, shit. Fucking, we need another piece of flint, okay. So, uh, apparently, now that we found rocks, we also need a piece of flint. In, normally, there is flint where there are rocks. Uh, so that's at least something. I might as well grab these twigs, too. I always need them for tools, so... Uh, I think we've probably got enough logs for now. Uh, we're always on the lookout for food, and we're just sort of exploring around and trying to get our bearings here. We're gonna, whoa, jeez, try to find... <laughs> Fucking trees just grow so suddenly. You, you know, one minute they're just little babies, and then the next minute they're, they're teenagers, and they're coming home late at night, swearing at you and calling you some sort of like massive asshole for like preventing them from like going on a date with their girlfriend and stuff like that. The fucking trees, they grow up so fast, don't they? It's crazy. Um, what's down here? Is there anything even down here? No, not really. Uh, we haven't seen a cave yet either. Oh shit, that's another thing I want to do. I mean, I did that one-off thing with the um, with this with the Sips mod, which was really fun actually. You got to go into the caves, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I I thought that the caves were really fucking spooky. I mean, they had the, those rabbits and the weird big houses and stuff like that. But I mean, it's probably worth going down there and checking it out again. You know, maybe there's some sort of like sinister power to unlock down there. Maybe there's like a new companion. God, who knows? I mean, maybe you can get like a, like a guitar or something and serenade Chester while you're down there. I I, I really have no idea. I I sort of stopped playing around the times that that caves came out, the last playthrough. Uh, so I haven't really had a chance to go back and play. This is the first time I've really played um, at all since uh, the last playthrough. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. All right, fucking, come on, Flint. What? Fucking, why is Flint so sparse? All I mean, you could, you just had so much Flint, you didn't even know what to do with it all uh, back in the day. But nowadays, it seems that Flint is just rare as hell. Or maybe it, it's just spawns like in certain places now, like maybe on like those the rocky, the rocky area with the rocks. No? Oh shit! Look at this. Fucking hit the mother load this time. Pigs. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about getting fresh with me. I'm here to steal all your berries. And if the king of all pigs is down here somewhere, I want to know about it too. Because he's going to be useful in the future. It is a nice day for a walk, Woody. You're absolutely right. Oh, shit. What the hell? He actually smells like a factory trawler. Can you actually do anything with this? I think with a hammer, you can knock it down. God, at least... These pigs mean business. You need to be careful with the pigs. I mean, I don't even have a shovel. I can't even steal, like, any of these berry bushes. Nothing. I might as well just pick them clean while I'm here. <laughs> you can always use berries. Don't even fucking look at me. What's your name? At my space. I don't think so. Oh, shit. Fucking, I can't believe it. It's almost the end of day two already. What have we done today? We fucking, we've, well, we've explored a lot of the map, to be fair. We have actually explored a lot of the map. 